Hi everyone, um, in this video I'll be showing you the Scotch game, uh, which is achieved after the following moves, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e takes, and knight takes. Black has a few options here with knight f6, bishop c5 being the main lines, and there's also d5, which isn't that good, knight e5, which also isn't that good, and only the main lines here are good, the side lines are just almost an immediate advantage for white. So there's not many surprises in this opening. So uh, bishop c5 is the line I'm showing you today. And uh, white has two main options, which is bishop b3, which has been played the most, but I'm not really a fan of that line. So I'm gonna be showing you knight b3, and also a different line, which is less seen, which is knight takes c6. And here you just trade into a probably better endgame because the pawns are going to be doubled after he retakes. Uh, the main line here is to play queen f6 because if you don't, and let's say if you take uh, with the pawn right away, you just take and bishop c4, the king's, the king's in a bad place because it can't castle and there's doubled pawns. It's just a small advantage. So after queen f6, queen f3, uh, there's queen takes c6, which is not that great. You can just play knight c3. And you might be able to get an attack with uh, bishop d3, uh, maybe looking at the h7 square later. And after castles, bishop d2 and queen g3, because knight g6 is probably trying to play knight h4 or knight e5. And d6 may be allowing knight e5 again, but just play f4 and all, light, all black's ideas are just shut down and you can just continue with an attack. To show you what could happen here, if black just plays a random move like king h8, you just castle queenside, first get your king to safety, and then start attacking like this, and, well, the, the attack just plays itself. So after queen f3, d takes c6, uh, bishop c4, and knight e7. This has been played for uh, 22 games, uh, 25, but uh, here, queen takes f6 has been played the most, and this... Uh, only two games with knight d2. And in those two games, knight g6 has been played all the time, and queen takes f6, g takes. And uh, they they played knight b3, which is okay, but instead, uh, h3 is a move I found with, which uh, can play g4, and if black tries to attack the g2 pawn, yeah, you can just move with g4. Uh, but uh, here, if you didn't just move h3, rook g8, and then you'd have to play g3. And then after g3, bishop h3, um, white wouldn't be that great. So after h3, uh, there's rook g8, and knight e5 could be a possibility here, but... You can just play bishop e2 and rook g8, f4, and the the knight's not doing great on g6. You can just gain more space and win. So rook g8 and knight f3, knight e5, and you can just take and play g4. So you're preventing any future ideas of playing f5 uh, once the rook moves, and um, you can also play f4 yourself and put the rooks on f1. White's position here is really easy to play because you can just play bishop d2, maybe bishop h6, I'm not sure, but bishop d2 and then castle queenside and f4 and stuff. And it's it's an okay line uh, with knight takes c6, but uh, the main line here is to play knight b3, which is more attacky and usually white gets a very strong attack. There are, there are like one, there's one sideline here with bishop b4, 
which is kind of significant, but you just play c3, bishop e7, and f4. White's win rate here is 40%, and white just gets a better position with bishop e3, knight d2, and it's, it's, it's okay for white. Um, that's why here the main line is to play bishop b6, avoiding any of the other bad moves. And you can play a knight c3, and there's knight f6 and bishop g5, pinning the knight to the queen. The most played move here is h6, and there's also d6, and also queen, uh, castles. So I'll show h6 first, where you just have to move your bishop back to h4. Any other bishop moves are just bad. So bishop h4, uh, d6, uh, sorry, castles, and then queen e2, rook e8, and then castles. And uh, here, uh, a common thing after a5, if black ever wants an attack, is to play a4. And um, black's whole like idea of an attack is just gone. And to show what could happen after this is d6, f3, um, which is basically every plan in this opening. Uh, and then you just play g4. Bishop e6, uh, g4. And uh, here there's actually a game which uh, had the idea to take on b3. And it looks like black is just winning a pawn here. But uh, it's more of a poison pawn. Because if he takes, you just move your king back, and black, uh, white has a crushing attack with g5, and they can't really be stopped. Uh, but uh, let's see what happens if white, uh, black tries to, if black doesn't do anything about the attack. So g5, h takes g5, bishop takes, and h4. Black obviously can't take this because it's like a fo uh, fishing pole trap but uh, you don't sacrifice anything uh, which is why um, here instead of taking the best move here is probably to play bishop uh, here but it loses anyways because you can just take and then knight d5 there's a pin on the knight two ways uh, there's the king and the queen and black is just lost here uh, the knight can't be saved, and the attack on the king is just too strong. Although this type of attack won't be seen as much, uh, there there is a type of attack um, that will be seen more in the Potter variation. After d6, uh, queen e2, h6, bishop e3. Uh, here, bishop h4 isn't necessary. It just kind of gets marooned here, and it it doesn't do like it doesn't serve any purpose in the game. But instead, bishop e3, um, black could be tempted to take, uh, but uh, if black tries to play a5, maybe make an attack again, again you play a4. And uh, castles, castles, there's, there's just f3, g4, h4. So instead of bishop takes e3, which just gives, which just gives uh, white a clear plan, uh, there's also uh, queen e7, which has been played uh, five times more. <laughs> uh, and then you just play ca castles queenside, and castles, and then f3 again. And then g4, if he takes, uh, and then play plays d5, following the principle that uh, all flank attacks should be met with a break in the center. But... Um, White still just wins here because g5. The attack's just quicker. And now bishop takes e3, queen takes e3, and uh, knight takes d5. An important move here. If you take with the queen, uh, knight h7 forces a queen trade. Uh, unless you play any other. Yeah, it just forces a queen trade. So if you play queen g2, just this. And, well, there's still a lot of chances for white here, but 
Instead, you can just win with knight takes uh, d5 and rook takes d5. So you're eyeing the g5 pawn and maybe doubling up. Uh, Black doesn't want that, so he plays knight e5. But then you just still rip open the position with h4, and then black shouldn't take here because you can just uh, rook g1, I think. Uh, wait, no, rook g1 doesn't work, but oh yeah, f4. And that's why you don't play h4. Uh, g takes h4. Uh, but black also has an idea of g g4, and then f4, knight f3. But here, uh, white has a really, really good move, which is just a, a sacrifice of the exchange. Uh, it's The whole idea is to remove the defender of the knight. And if the knight takes, uh, you open up the h-file, and you have massive amounts of compensation for the rook. Now, rook f e8 attacking the pawn, uh, you can just push. And after rook a d8, uh, you can just play uh, g6. And g6 just wins on the spot because if f takes, you just do this. And almost anything, any other move that black plays, you just meet with bishop c4. And, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's it. So, after bishop b6, uh, the last move here is the castle. And then after queen e2, knight d4. Uh, taking won't be so good because you just traded off all your uh, attacking pieces. Which is, well, it doesn't seem like it, but uh, black gets the bishop on d4, which is pretty strong. And it just defends uh, the, the knight. Instead, uh, you should play queen d2, and if knight takes, uh, a takes, and then rook e8, f3, and black has some ideas of playing d5. Uh, uh, sorry, this is the wrong variation. Uh, here, black doesn't have any ideas. Uh, instead, after h6, which should be 3, uh, takes, takes, uh, there you can play d5, because there's a pin uh, against the queen. So after castle c6, uh, you can just continue with the attack, just ignoring everything uh, with the pawn. And black can play queen c7. And this is more of an example of like a good attack in the scotch. You just play g4 and the g files open. If he takes, I don't think that's good for black, but you can just play h4, h5, h6. And G1. And that concludes this video of the Scotch. Um, in other videos, I'll be showing you uh, Knight of Six. And I hope uh, you'll play the Scotch after these videos. Uh, goodbye.